I don't think a lot of people realize what's actually happening inside of your mouth when you whistle, which is a shame because it's really interesting. To start us off, before we talk about we have to know how a non-human whistle works. Now, I'm a linguist, not a physicist. I can't do both, so take this explanation with a grain of salt. But when you blow air into a whistle, the air will bounce around within the whistle in all sorts of different ways, but at a specific frequency because there's only so much space for the air to bounce around it. This creates vibrations in the air, which we hear as sound. Now, depending on what kind of whistle you're using, the air will bounce around within it in different ways, and this is where the real physics comes in that I wish I fully understood. But I can tell you how one kind of whistle works, which is the human mouth. Your mouth is an excellent chamber for air to vibrate within, not least because, unlike a traditional whistle, you can change what your mouth is shaped like. For example, if you can lip whistle, try this out. Without thinking about what pitch you're making, try whistling and then pull your tongue back while you're doing it. So. When you pull your tongue back, you're making the chamber in your mouth bigger, so the air will bounce around fewer times at a lower frequency, thus creating a lower pitch that you hear. So you can move the different parts of your mouth in different ways to create different chambers and do all kinds of cool stuff to the air coming out of it. But again, that's just one type of whistling. You could also create a chamber using just your palate or your mouth and fingers or a leaf. The possibilities are endless. Interestingly enough though, these contortions of the mouth are also the way vowels are produced. Like if you make an E sound and then pull your tongue back, e -o -e -o -e. Notice though that two vowels can sound completely different even with the same pitch. And this is because they have different harmonies going on. Suffice to say the mouth is a very complex instrument. For the time being, I hope you enjoyed this brief explanation, and if you know more about the physics side of things, let me know if there's anything else I should have talked about. Thanks so much for watching, and have a nice day.